So I'll put these into the, probably not this year pile. Uh, oh, okay. So one year in 2021, I had bought some organic um, cherry tomatoes at Costco and it was like a blend of a bunch of different um, cherry tomatoes and I really like them. So I think I picked out a couple of the ones I really liked and saved the seeds. Um, I don't think I've grown these though and I'm not going to take a chance on that this year. So I'll put those over into the no cocoa cherry. Uh, this sounds interesting. Mahogany fruited container variety. Okay. So, oh, okay. I, I remember ordering these now. This is a micro tomato plant and it only grows eight inches tall. It produces um, bite-sized sweet brown fruit. I may try this just here in the window because uh, it says it's great for the patio or windowsill. I'm not sure if you can read that or if it's backwards. Um, I don't know, maybe that could be a nice fun winter project to do next winter. So I've got Big Rainbow. That sounds very interesting. Uh, I'll put that in the maybe. Black Crim. I think that is also one that people would kind of recognize and maybe want to try. Um, I'm going to put that into the mm, maybe. I'll put that into the maybe. Supremo. This is Aroma. It may be the one I ordered two nights ago. I didn't know I had this. Um, let's see what year it is. 2022. Maybe I'll just go ahead and grow this one and save um, the seeds that I, I get in the mail from them here in the next few days uh, to try next year. So this is only 10 seeds. It's a determinant. Okay. Sounds pretty good to me. Uh, I'll put that into the yes. Okay, so I should have went through my tomatoes before I placed that order because I also I I also ordered this variety the other night uh, from Botanical Interest. It's Ace Fifty Five, and I think I ordered it because it's a, a determinate, and I'm trying to grow more dwarf and determinate and smaller plants. Um, yeah, I should have checked. I should have went through my tomatoes. Um, but this might be one also that I may want to grow to sell. So I'm going to put this into the probably, especially since I know I have another pack of these coming. And then I have the Bradley tomato. Um, I'm going to put this into the maybe because I remember when I read about this um, from Urban Farmer, it sounded really interesting. It's a kind of a boring name, but it sounded interesting. So uh, there must be a reason why I ordered these. So I'm going to put that into the maybe. I've got Whitmore Heirloom, and this looks like a really nice slicer. Um... So Seed Savers Exchange, um, considered one of the best tasting tomatoes by their staff. Uh, complex and well-balanced flavor. Very large pink beefsteak. Well, I mean, that sounds pretty good to me. Some fruits may have moderate cracking, otherwise remarkably blemish-free. Um, okay, so one and a half to two pound fruits. I think we do have a couple big slicers over here already. Um, so I'm going to put this into the maybe pile. And then I've got a peach blow Sutton. That sounds really pretty. Sometimes I just like the names. If the name in the picture is pretty, that kind of like intrigues me. I'm going to put that into the maybe. Um, our probably yes pile and the maybe pile are both really big. Oh, I remember this one too. This sounds so pretty. Moon glow. 
Doesn't that sound great? So it's a six to eight ounce fruit, bright orange, solid flesh. Okay, so that sounds similar to Dr. Witchie's. Um, it says very few seeds and mild, a mildly sweet. Sounds really intriguing. Um, I may have to try this one too. Maybe I'll have two orangish colored tomatoes this year. I'll do the Dr. Witchie's or the pineapple. I'm going to have to make a decision. And then I've got the clementine and the tangerine. So I'm only going to grow maybe this one and either the pineapple or the Dr. Witchie's. Sounds pretty. Okay. And then I've got John Bear. I guess I'm saying that right. Um, oh, it says everything you'd want in a canner and a slicer. So it's another one of those multifunctional um, tomatoes. Bright red and meaty, smooth fruits, good flavor. Heavy producer. That sounds pretty intriguing too. Okay, so, hmm. Oh, okay, it says AKA Bonnie's Best. So, I guess this is another name for Bonnie's Best. And I know that is kind of like a familiar name um, for a tomato. So that might be, uh, you know, one that people would be drawn to as well. I'll put this into the maybe pile. Oh, I forgot about this one. This is gorgeous. And this is probably one that people wouldn't want to buy, but it's one that I want to grow and it is Queen of the Night. Isn't that pretty? Let's see, what does it say for the size? So three to three and a half ounce with brush strokes of indigo on its shoulders. Wow, stunning uh, color inside. Plants are indeterminate but compact five to five and a half feet so that's not too bad um and it has a blue tinged regular leaf foliage so that you no know, that would also be kind of pretty too to see so i'm going to go ahead and maybe put this into the yes pile as a fun tomato to grow just like a nice uh, fun experiment just to see what it looks like um All right, guys, so that is about it. Um, I've got a no pile here, just a no pile. And then we've got the maybe pile, and then the yes pile is pretty small. Um, last year, I grew 17 different varieties, and so this year, I wanna kinda condense that and not grow as many different varieties. Um, so I'm not gonna count the glacier because that's just a fun experiment that I'm doing on my own um, in my green stock. So we're not gonna count that. Um, so I'm thinking maybe if I could get it down to maybe 10 different varieties, that would be a good range. Maybe have um, one Roma or Plum uh, canning type and then maybe two or three cherry tomatoes um, maybe one or two mid-size and then the rest big slicers um, and maybe with a heavy emphasis on more of your standard pink or red type tomatoes um, I don't know I still like to grow fun stuff too though, so um, I guess I should make a decision though because that's the whole point of the video. Um, let me look through my um, yeses. So I've got the Dr. Witchies, the Queen of the Night, we decided, um, the Ace 55. So I'm just going to go ahead and go with the Supremo for my Roma. And then I had determined, yes, we're gonna do the Sun Gold as a cherry. Mortgage Lifter will be one of the big slicers. The Pineapple, um, I don't know. I don't want it to compete with Dr. Witchie's, but I wouldn't really consider that a yellow. 
or like an orange solid. It looks like it's more variegated with yellow, red, orange. Um, you know, so they're granny cantrells. I don't know. I'm going to put this back into the maybe because it does have a lot of cat facing. That was my biggest issue with that. And, um, you know, some people might not like that who buy plants from me. They may think it's a defect if they get a plant that produces a lot of funky, you know, really weird looking cat faced fruits. So I'm just going to put that off to the side. Um, definitely want to try the German pink. It sounded good. And so I've got the purple rain. Um, I feel like maybe, maybe I should choose between these two and not do both of them. So I'm going to, have to think about that. Okay, so one is six to 12 ounces, which is this one, and this one is five to six. Um, what do you think about that one? It looks like I only have one cherry tomato in my yes pile. And actually, I am missing some of my cherry tomatoes because I should have had more. It looks like we only looked at just a few. Um, so I'll go with the sun gold. I need to pick a basic red cherry tomato. Um, and then maybe, maybe one other color. And this, we're definitely still going with this one. We do not have any other purple tomato picked out, unless I go with this one. I don't know. This is very complicated. <laughs> so I think, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end the video. And um, in the next three to five days or so, I will put another video out where I'm starting my tomato seeds. And I'll have my host set up, ready to go. Um, in the bay window here, that's where I start my um, tomato, peppers, and eggplants, and a few different flowers. Um, I don't like to do those in the winter sowing method, just because I did not have good luck with um, nightshades in that um, method. Um, but I may try, maybe I'll try a couple varieties just to see. Um, so that's going to be it. So maybe I'll post at the end of this video what I just decided. It could take days, though. <laughs> I'm going to have to research some of this. Um, I feel like I'm really limiting myself to 10 different varieties, so I'm going to have to put a lot of thought into it. Um, so if you have any ideas or recommendations, um, I'm not going to order any more seeds, though. Not this year. I'm going to go with what I have right in front of me. Um, and I think I have a good selection. So I will just let you know when I start the, seed the seeds uh, for the tomatoes. And I would love if you can comment below what are you starting. Like, what are some of your favorite um, tomato varieties? Um, and if you were buying, you know, from a, a person who grows... Uh, for a plant sale, what would you look for? Like, um, what varieties intrigue you? Is it the title? Um, because obviously you don't have a lot to go by when you're looking at a little, you know, seedling in a cup. Um, so I guess that's it. I'm going to, um, I guess put all these away and then do some research um, tomorrow. Maybe um, come up with an idea. Or a plan. So I will talk to you guys soon. Have a good night. Bye.